it was a couple weeks ago, a couple of the guides got inspired by a crevasse that we have. Crevasses are formed on top of a glacier, and these can go from three meters all the way to 30 plus meters. So normally, people wouldn't go inside of a crevasse. It's just not accessible. And to get inside of one takes rope work. So what they did is they actually cut steps down, and then they filled the bottom of the crevasse, put up a fixed line so we can actually walk inside of it. We go down about eight meters inside of the ice, and in there, it's completely sheltered, and you can see really deep inside of the ice. Right now, we're inside of a crevasse. This crevasse is about six to seven meters deep. These crevasses are formed because the glacier is going down into a valley, and then eventually the valley starts to open up, and the glacier ice needs to try to expand, and this cracks the top of the glacier, creating these massive crevasses that we have. If you took syrup and you put the syrup on top of a table, it would try to expand as much as possible. The glacier is essentially doing the same thing. It's expanding. Inside, we see bubbles, and they've been trapped inside of there since the ice was formed. And up here, we have a line of ash that fell on the glacier. And these lines indicate that once upon a time, there was a volcano that went off. It put a thin layer of ash on top of the ice, then snow fell on top of it and created a new layer of ice, as we can see. So you could think that this was an eruption maybe even 100, 200, 300 years ago, just on the side. And you find them all over the glacier, these lines. They wanted to bring something special to the tours, not just walk on top of the ice, the fact that we can go inside of a crevasse like this is not something that happens all the time. It's a pretty cool 